Hello and welcome to the club. I'm your host Mars and this is the Upper 90 Club Roundtable Podcast where five friends discuss the Columbus crew. Uh, on tonight's episode, we've got Morgan Hughes in the house yeah. of uh, Support Supply. You all know him from yeah. everything that he yeah. does, including uh, the the uh, the frequent uh, ad spot on our show. Uh, but Aces Radio, Support Supply, uh, synonymous with saving our team, the crew. Uh, also in the club are uh, Ben and Trey. Haas and Mort are uh, eating Snacking. wings somewhere as snacks. the uh, Lots of snacks. as the Super Bowl is wrapping up here. But uh, they should join us here in a little bit. So we'll see them when they join. Uh, guys, welcome to the club. Hey, thanks for having us. Thanks for having me. Us. Feels good me. to be here. Feels good to be back. Yeah, so we've got like two... Tip of the hat, Mars! Till... Thank Damn you, Ben. Uh, <laughs> we've got two weeks, about less than two weeks till uh, we kick off. So I guess next week we'll start. We'll have to start predicting things. We have not had oh, to uh, work out that muscle, um, and uh, I, I look forward to it. But uh, this week we're going to talk to Morgan, um, find out what he's got cooking. I know we've got a few other. Uh, yeah, there's some crew happenings that have uh, random uh, unfolded in the last week or so. Um, a lot of drama. Hot gas. Deep we're gonna go into <laughs> yeah, the, uh, just a little bit of drama. <laughs> uh, we're gonna. Just, uh, I don't know how deep. God we're damn go you, into. election buddy! Just yeah, wow. we're see. Put the tip in just enough, dude. Morgan, welcome yeah, back us. to Twitter. Can we talk about that for a second? You oh, made back. It back. Yes. I about that. I. It was so weird. I was, thank you. Thank I was. You. Yeah, I was good. on Twitter pooping as a do. Like flipping through, and I saw it, and it felt like a warm blanket. Yeah. But I was also, you know, on the toilet. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened? Did you get an email? Like uh, originally, I made a joke about cutting billionaires' heads off. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh-huh. which I think is fucking totally fine. Uh, and th- I got banned, perm perma banned. Not I, Taylor like Swift, 14, though, right? No. Right. No, no, not that. Not the only uh, billionaire. That is like 14 (laughs) years. I've 15 years. I've been on this platform. Like daily user never have been even so much as warned for my Uh like actions. And you said some wild uh, attitude or outrage. Yeah. I was going to say, did you have like one of those moments where it's like this, this is what I get banned for. (laughs) I did. I did. Yeah. And, but there's, so there's no amount of like times that you can kind of contest it and say, I, I, I disagree. And the first time I contested it was like the first day. And I was like, this is outrageous. Like it was, a, this is a joke about the French revolution. Like I, you know, I've, mm-hmm. I've never, <laughs> you know, of all things to be banned for. And they, and it was like, if I sent that at like 11 o'clock in the morning, like at 1101, I got an email back and they were like, no, we've, we've reviewed your case and you are a, <laughs> we're a, from a France. Line stepper. We don't like it. And I was, <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah. talking to Donnie Murray also of save the crew fame. Uh, and he was like, Hey, do you want to do a fundraiser this coming summer for shared Brown? Like he did for, um, Tim Ryan. And I said, yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. And it, and I realized that like my Twitter account isn't just like shit posting about my wife and the crew. Uh, but it also like, you know, there's a lot of people who follow that account because of like community organizing mm. and, and, you know, like, I don't know, it just, it, it seemed outrageous that that I would want to do something cool again and I wouldn't have that fucking outlet. Yeah. Yeah. And so I like, I, I, I protested again to Twitter and like five minutes later they sent me back. They're like, Oh yeah, sorry about that. You're back. And I was like, Oh shit. All I have to do is, uh, okay. Twice, twice is all it took. My bad. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. Please. Nice six months. That's fine. Maybe yeah, yeah, maybe it's like a like a donor list, you know, like you were behind Trump and like other people <laughs> who had been kicked off, and they started letting those guys back in. And so it's like well, they did. Know. They let like a super famous Nazi back on yeah, the same week yeah, that they let me exactly. back on. What's <laughs> what's like, one asshole God. from Columbus? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a bit of a yin and yang situation. Uh, awesome. Well, yeah. So so welcome yeah. back uh, to to Twitter and. Uh, and you are also 
so I guess we were kind of talking a little bit about the drama. Nice uh, subject change, but uh, mm. but you have some some new things cooking. Speaking of Nordeka on supporter supply, um, what's uh, what's what do you have planned for this year? Well, we just came out with our new um, 2024, like our main 2024 uh, supporter supply uh, Nordic soccer jersey. It's called the Split Kit. It's on sale now. I believe they get here this week. Um, we like it. We think it's sweet. Uh, as always, with everything we do that has the Nordic uh, wording on it, every time you buy something from us, we donate a portion of the proceeds to Nordec directly. Allegedly. Uh, so, you know, it, it allegedly <laughs> election yeah. buddy is what I meant uh, to say. So even if you, even if you're upset with election buddy right now, and you don't <laughs> want to give money directly to Nordec, you can give your money to us and we will get that money to Nordec. There's slightly less of it. So yeah, awesome. that came out. We, okay. uh, we released our 2024 line. Um, we bought a really, really expensive machine, uh, embroidery machine, a 15 head, uh, embroidery machine at the end of the year in 2023. So we're getting, I'm learning how to use that. So we have a bunch of new stuff that should be dropping uh, soon. Once I get around to taking product photos of it and it's, it's an exciting time as with every, any startup, we kind of like don't pay ourselves and mm -hmm. whatever Mark. money we do make by the end of the year, we, we take it and we invest in the company. So it's always fun at the beginning of the year when you get to buy the machines and, and, uh, you know, get to uh, learn to use all the cool stuff you bought, uh, from last year. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I like the defunct, awesome, like Columbus teams that you were doing. Uh, those are awesome. I got squirrely and Absolutely. bought a Zogs hat. Cause yeah, you gotta like, <laughs> you gotta <laughs> practice somehow, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and the only way I know, really the only way I've ever known how to do anything is to just fuck around and make cool shit. Yeah. Like that's my mantra. It's just like make cool shit when, when in doubt, make cool shit. And you know, like it, it, it just defunct sports teams are sweet. Yeah. A hundred percent. So Ben, so you, like, you, you know, got the Zogs cool hat. Shit. Is the Zogs hat available for, for public purchase? Not yet. It's okay. pretty cool. Is it that what you, be. so, so what else are you talking about? Like I saw late last year, there was like the, I'm going to say it wrong. What are the, the Goodale Park kid or what is oh, something yeah. like that. Is that what you're talking about? What like what other teams are you working on? You need to do a Columbus Owls, the first semi. -part. I did I did an Owls. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. I did an Owls hat. Yeah, oh, I did an I Owls it. hat. Yeah. It's <laughs> sweet. It's one of the better ones. Uh, no, no, but, no. Sorry, my dad played yeah. like three games with him. So Whoa. Uh, who yeah, are the dude, Owls? It's I, the seventies chill hockey type thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were the Golden Seals, and then they. Oh my God, like that's amazing! Seventy-three. You made a Seals <laughs> yeah. one too. I also made a Golden Seals. Yeah. Hat. Yeah, and then in seventy-three they changed over to the Owls, yeah. and I think they were here till like 77, 78, 79, something like that. Man, the Owls is such. You a know, good it's just name. like Columbus is such a. Yeah. It's it's funny because like if you know you guys have probably been in Columbus long enough to remember it when it wasn't the behemoth and the, the building right. giant that it is now. Yeah. Like I remember going over to Chi Chi's on Franz road for like birthdays or something yeah. and thinking like, Rom. what the fuck? We're going where no, no, yeah. we're going all the way out to Dublin. Yeah. We, we were, we yeah. were Chi Chi's. Like, nothing was built up. No, ben, you're probably insane. with me. Chi Chi's on 161. Yeah. The that, 161. We yeah. 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 That's yeah. right. That's where I grew up. My sister, my sister yeah. worked mm -hmm. at Gigi's. <laughs> like, in the but 90s. it was like you she know, was just the, the city that we were back then. <laughs> we couldn't even like have like shit ass, uh, barely professional sports teams. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. we were such a cow town. So there's just like a like a cemetery of dead bodies of like these these <laughs> semi pro teams that yeah. you can just cool like, name. I mean, no one owns the IP, but it, people remember them. It's truly, chill, it's a miracle. Chill is, chill awesome is the best. Man. The chill That's is such an awesome. Chill is sweet. And, and the and chiller, it, the the chiller was in Dublin, wasn't it? Or like one of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah still yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we ended up with the Blue Jackets, with which Mark has heard my my yeah. uh, conspiracy on that name, but. I fucking hate the blue. Jackets. It is the dumbest name ever. <laughs> so 
Only because I loved the chill so much. Yeah, like, what, you that's know, fair. We were so good. The chill were so good that like the NHL was like, oh, uh, there's that uh, thing again. Well, uh, <laughs> what? And we got the Blue Jackets, and we haven't been good since. They're you know? they've yeah. they have been terribly run. Like, and they, we've had a few good years, but overall, it just like they, they can't the get out of their own way. Yeah, I no, I like. Yeah. I'm not gonna hate on on the on the team. Like I want to hate on the product and like, I want the team to do well. Their front office, that kind of stuff. Yeah. I want them to play. I want them to rename themselves that they're not the blue jackets. Cause there's nothing to do with civil war crap. Anywho. Well, it'll make, it'll make uh, their eventual success that much sweeter. Won't it? Nope. You know, Mm -hmm. Cubs, the Indians, I don't call them that. I'm not convinced it'll ever happen. (laughs) Maybe when the owner sells and they rename the team, but, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, you hope that they can that they'll stick around. No It'll be a black and white team called Columbus Hockey Club. Oh, I would yeah, buy that. Awesome. So, uh, <laughs> and then in Aces Radio, you guys have taken the off season off. Wise decision. Yeah, uh, disagree. Although I did hear in your final episode something about like a hot tub episode. Did has, oh yeah? Is there anything in the works for that or <laughs> too cold? Oh, we were seriously seriously <laughs> considering doing that. Well, I mean, like you guys know, the the hosts and co-hosts or whatever we are of Aces Radio are not like the brightest light bulbs. We're not the the sharpest crayons in the box. And we were like, seriously, like, okay, well, I mean, like, yeah, we could do, because we said, like, if the crew win MLS Cup, we'll do an mm-hmm. episode in my hot tub that's broken. Mm-hmm. And I was, I was like thinking about the logistics and I was like, oh, wait, no, we can't do that. There's electricity and uh, water. So we're not doing Why that. Why don't you yeah, ditch the water, that's, that's but just do it in the hot tub without water? <laughs> But without shirts on. Oh, because yeah, it's, it'll be reverb. Because it's not yeah. as, and I mean, I mean this in the least, in the less like um, uh, homophobic way possible. <laughs> so, and I'm just going to say, friends are ugly because the, without water in the hot tub, it it wouldn't be as gay. <laughs> <laughs> like it, nah, it, 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 w- it nah. need the water needs to be there, so it's like the gayest possible thing that we can yeah, do. Yeah, You'd, and and that's under and bubbles. That's how you, you don't I know mean, what's happening, right? You when you're celebrating, you want to have a gay old time. Yeah, uh, and and that was Absolutely. I think that and I without water, you the, can tell whose foot well, it is for sure. The impetus, the impetus mm-hmm. of the of the <laughs> of the uh, hot tub episode Filled was it jello. tied to crew success? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The crew won the cup. Just some, yeah, something like that. Okay. All right. I don't know. All right. So are you guys Season coming back? Of Aces Radio is going to be great. So when, when can we expect? When can we expect Aces Radio to be back? Is it like do you do you uh, do you like a preseason kickoff or wait till after the first I game? I think we're just. I think we're just going to keep doing since this is technically a. Uh, the crew are playing this month, right? So like, yes, mm-hmm. we will just keep doing the the last. Uh, Thursday of every month, mm-hmm. but Zadar is being, but Zadar is being really bitchy about, like he he wants to start doing it more often, which is, mm. I, come on man, no one no one's asking for that, <laughs> and so like you never know, we we might go back to like buy you know or to, to twice a month, I don't know, it, yeah. it depends. Yeah, well you get a lot in there. I mean it's it's a meal. Yeah, I mean it's it's like yeah, it it can take uh, me personally. It takes a few few settings, right? It's because most few, episodes yeah, are like three sessions, two or mm-hmm. three hours long. Yeah. Um, you know when I when I stopped doing it, I stopped doing it because like it was we did it every week and we didn't really take a, a, the off season off, and it was still three hours. Yeah. Three hour yeah. episodes every week, and just like it was fucking exhausting. And you know, my wife was pregnant or something. I don't remember. I don't remember, <laughs> but I was just like, I can't do this anymore. This is fucking stupid. And then they, then COVID happened and we started doing them once a month. And I was like, Oh, this is actually fun Yeah, doing it once a month. And now we do it at, at supporter supply where before we like, we did like a show. It wasn't, it was, it was a shitty show, yeah. but it was like a performance. Mm. Like people would come to endeavor and like, there were times when we had like a hundred people in the back mm. uh, when we were doing it in the, in the brewery, but like we would set up and like there were, there were posters and we had like scarves of every MLS team that I use. I put up with magnets and shit. And it took me like an hour to set up three hours to record an hour to tear down, pack up all that shit, put it back in my car 
And I was like, I'm not do, I can't do this every week anymore. But now it's supporters apply. It just, all the shit lives there yeah. and yeah. I don't have to clean anything up because it's my business and I'm not, you know, yep. it's already not making any money. I'm not ruining anything. <laughs> oh yeah. Zero dollars. Uh, Absolutely zero dollars. Well, yeah, we, we don't do yeah. it live because okay. of the hundred people as well. So I know what you mean. Yeah. Because of, yes, yeah. exactly. because of the, because of the people that would be in the room. Stresses me out. Because there's too many people. So many yeah. people. Yeah. So many yeah. People. You know, I found with playing yeah. music, like, uh, putting shows together is hard. I mean, if you're like trying to promote it, you know, like carrying drum kits and everything, like, I don't know. I got, yes. when, when I was still playing music, I, I got a lot of satisfaction out of like carrying a six pack down to the basement and just having friends over, you know, yeah. like just practicing, yes. you know, <laughs> it's just a lot of work. Well, with, with, <laughs> with everything that, I mean, like you guys are probably a lot like I am and I can see by your setups that you, that you are like, you can start doing something half ass, but like you're going to whole ass that thing eventually. Yeah, you just like you anything worth in. doing yeah. is worth overdoing Correct. is like my mantra. Like eventually yeah. it's going to be, you're going to make it a big deal. You're going to fucking try to promote it. You know, like yeah. you're going to look at your metrics and try to grow it <laughs> and try to get yeah. guests. Uh -huh. and yeah. It's just like, you know, try to once try you to let move go the show of that, to Austin. Yep. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, dude, we, we got approached, we got approached a couple times by not like serious podcast networks. Well, one of them was, and actually one of them in the last like year and a half approached us and was like, do you guys want to do this like professionally? And I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even talk to the other guys about it. I just said, no, <laughs> like, oh, no. And ESPN was like, really? <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> right yeah. okay see you later i guess we'll hire pat mcafee yeah. <laughs> right. no, but, oh yeah that that anyways back to not getting paid at supporters <laughs> <laughs> yeah anything that you do like w with your friends and like it becomes something that you try to monetize and you put pressure on each other like yeah you're yep. eventually probably going to stop being friends yeah. and it's just gonna i don't want to stop being friends yeah. with alex and darby and john Shrek, yeah. I could deal with that. <laughs> and the yeah. podcast listeners have dealt awesome. with that one, so not an issue. That's right. Yeah. Well, this podcast yeah. was just an excuse because we were on a text thread, and we don't ever get to see Mark because Mark's in um, Chicago. So I was like, let's just get on and just do this and like hang out, and you know, we don't make any money or like anything like that. It's just yeah, kind of fun. Right. But you it's were fun. you were, before yeah. Aces, weren't you on Massive Report? I was. Yeah. During that I movie. left in a huffy. I'll show you guys. <laughs> when was that? Sorry, you, no, you, like, you've, outla great, you've outlasted him. So, <laughs> yeah, it was the great supporter war of 2015. I was on there in 2013, 2014, mm. 2015, and th like there was just this, there was just this terrible corner of crew fandom that was just like toxic and awful, and they they had identified me as like the main bad guy. And they were just making my life fucking hell. Like it was awful. And Massive Report, the guys who ran Massive Report, like didn't want to like get involved in it. And I was like, listen, man, this isn't like a both sides thing. Like these guys are fucking terrible. They're targeting me. Like I don't give a shit if we talk about it or not. But they're like, if you, if anybody ever talks about this, even in real life on social media or on the show, you're banned from Massive Report. And I was like. I fucking quit massive. <laughs> Fuck you. Like you're not going to tell me what I'm going to talk about in real life. You fucking psychos. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like have you like SB nation is not that cool guys. Bye. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I texted Zadar and I said, I just quit master report. Do you want to do a stupid podcast where we just talk shit about them? And, uh, <laughs> and that's how aces radio was born. Yeah. So I, you know, I think that's an interesting, point about crew fandom it does feel at times like we can't get out of our own way you said it about the blue jackets earlier front office tray but like uh, i don't know i like <laughs> it's hard for me to uh it's hard for me to get really invested in some of these petty kind of things that that bubble up uh, where everyone's trying to, you know, draw lines and take sides. And uh, I don't know. Do you feel like it's Dude. better now than it was? Or are we just suffering? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. 
Oh yeah. It's way better. It, you know, it's better from a perspective of there are no death threats, um, that yeah, I know of, like yeah. no one's There's like, only one swearing way to go. on their kids' lives that they're going to make me pay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, but I, but, but I'm also not, yeah, I know it was terrible. Uh, like I don't think anyone's sleeping with knives under their pillows. Like I was for a while. Um, but you know, it, like <laughs> what I will say is like the stakes right now in crew fandom, they're so incredibly low, low yeah. that any, like anytime, anytime there's any sort of like kerfuffle or drama, I'm just like, you people know there's nothing at stake right now. Right. Like yeah. the team is here. Yeah. Tickets are sold out for like two years. Right. Nordic is full. We're MLS cup champs. Like, we have a downtown stadium. Like we are the crown jewel of this league. Yep. Nothing's at risk here. And you parking lot beer drinking babies, you piss boys <laughs> are fighting over like the little fucking power that comes with like being on the Nordak board. Oh my God. I'm on the Nordak board. Yeah. Cool, dude. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. And I love all those people, but like, dude, every, and I said this to one of them last week, like every time that, that something happens on the Nordic Slack channel, it always devolves into a fucking martyrdom contest. Yeah. Where, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, like, like we're volunteers. We don't have time for, if you want to volunteer your time, well, first of all, God damn it. Second, like no one asked you to volunteer your time. You did that on purpose. Second of all, this is a not-for-profit 5137, ding, I believe, ding, ding. Uh, yep. that you, you ran for the board position, if, I, if I'm not, and you solicited votes from us, the paying members of this nonprofit. Yeah. So like, I do, you know, like, thank you for your service, but shut the fuck up and get to work at the mm-hmm. same time. Yeah. Like you ran for this, but you solicited my vote. If you don't want to hear from me or my ilk, don't fucking run for the leadership position. Mm. What's wrong with you people? Yeah, and I, and I, I love I, you, and I love all. Of you. <laughs> well, and I also wonder, like, just with with all of the new popularity of the team and the team's success, you have a bunch of new fans. Anyone going to a game is having a great time, right? So, yeah, it's or a different like bird. bringing in new fans, and I have not been to a game i didn't go to any games last year but except for the one that was in chicago um but is there what's the vibe like is there like fan flexing going on or is everyone just kind of enjoying the ride not that i've seen yeah Yeah. it's mostly everybody enjoying the ride i think that there was yeah i think that if like the peacocking that used to happen at the old yeah. stadium was yeah. like easier to pick up on, even if it, even if it was or was not, there were more instances of it. But you remember in the old Nordic, like we were all kind of looking at each other. Yeah. Right. And so like, you know, like you're in that corner and if something's happening over in one Oh one and you're in one Oh one or you're in one forty one, you can still see it. Right. You can like, if Clem is fucking up a chant, you can be like, <laughs> you're fucking up that chant. <laughs> you know? But if like someone's, someone's one section away from you in the new stadium, I, you have, I no, have idea. no idea. Yeah. yeah you yeah. you so, literally have no idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, the old yeah. stadium, like we used to stand yeah. up top at the rail and just like look down on everybody as they fucked yeah. up. So yeah. yeah, we felt pretty important. Right. Yeah. yeah. We're just like, now, I, moved around. Around. I moved all around. Cousins. I had a, I had a season where I was like <laughs> in, for, like in the front of the Nordeka, like there was a few games where we were like down, down, down. Like you had to get there early to mm-hmm. like get, you had to try get up front. Right. Then we kind of like moved up. We played drums for a while. Then we were up like uh, we never got down. And then we started having kids. And then we we went to like we moved one section. You were Nordeka adjacent. South. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got yeah. these like like that was when you were dressing tickets. like a monkey. In a they were like suit. seated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those were wonderful seats, except for like when it was like yeah. the six seven o'clock sun coming down. Yeah, and it hit you in the <laughs> eyes for like twenty minutes of the first yeah. half. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I I just yeah. wonder like it's just it's so frustrating to see all of this uh this friction like during the off season people are, you know, calling for, you know, recounts at rigged elections. We'll get into it. I think I think that anytime you have you have Go like a it. successful sports team that re- that you know rose from the ashes successful sports team and there are still people left over from that less successful sports team that are used to like the space that not mattering gives you 
You know, like th- yeah. there were there were games at the old stadium when there were sixteen hundred people. There. Right, yeah, I know. Yeah. And yeah, you know, when there were like three people that worked for the team, <laughs> and like yeah. So even if they wanted to kind of police you and have you get your art approved, and like TVOs <laughs> had to go through some fucking front office committee or some <laughs> bullshit, like they just didn't have the manpower and the bandwidth to do it. So they kind of gave you grace based on you know like. I mean, the first time that they that they let me and someone else stay basically until five in the morning working on TIFO without any like oversight was like the last time they really ever paid attention to anything I was fucking doing there. Yeah. So like there was just like there were there were there was a decade where I didn't really I was friends with the front office, but I didn't tell them what we were doing. Right. Kind of see like kind of see some of the you same same kind of thing now with the crew too right like the, yeah. the whole like capybara crowd mm-hmm. source like yeah, crew, yeah. Uh, supporter group kind of thing going on um let's take a quick break here and when we come back we'll do a quick crew news and um and then we'll give we'll go to haas because Haas got the hot goss. Yeah, we'll work on that. We'll be right trapped. This episode of the Upper 90 Club is brought to you, as always, by Supporter Supply Company. Hi, friends. This is your good pal, Morgan Hughes, here to talk to you about a serious issue facing 96% of all crew supporters in Columbus. Why... Not enough free shipping, of course. For a limited time, now through the eventual heat death of the universe, Upper 90 Club listeners can use the promo code UPPER90BOYS, that's boys with a Z on the end of it, at checkout for free delivery on absolutely any order over $10. But Morgan, what if I order $10 worth of stickers, or those goddamned buttons, or some other combination of small items that make you want to kill yourself. Will the free shipping still apply then, even as you curse our family while you package up our little tiny annoying ass order for us? <laughs> of course it will. That's just how much we here at Supporter Supply value our friends at the Upper 90 Club. So head on over to supportersupply.co and use the promo code UPPER90BOYS, that's boys with a Z, at checkout for free shipping on all your orders over $10. And don't forget to tell them that your friends at the Upper 90 Club sent ya. Okay, we're back. Uh, we, we, yeah, we took a really long break. I don't, it's probably only the length of the uh, support supply ad for, for the listeners, but um, we watched basically the whole overtime of the Super Bowl. And yeah. uh, we saw that the Hunt family put some more brass uh, up on the wall next to the 2008. MLS Cup championship, I'm sure, is just <laughs> prominently displayed. <laughs> which, which they definitely celebrated at Airhead Stadium. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's just above their bed where they yeah. sleep every night, as one does. <laughs> yeah. It's it's the good luck charm. It's the good luck charm that uh, that brought them another championship. So yeah. uh, congratulations. To as them. the Chiefs were running out, they uh, rolled the 2008 Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Mahomes drinks Gatorade from it. It's like, uh, yeah. That's how we get the superpowers. <laughs> yeah. So um hopefully that means that our our snacky friends will uh join us at some point. Um yeah. okay, so we got a few crew updates um and some some other various uh uh adjacent <laughs> news to go through. So Ben, talk through that um and we can discuss. Yeah, uh, some random stuff that was Happen over the Twitters and all the crap. Uh, first thing is, um, well, Nagby came out. He was rated as the first in ball retention under high pressure, which seems oddly specific. But every <laughs> like the crew tweeted it out. Yeah, I didn't realize. I just saw first and Dar- it was like Darlington Nagby was first, and it was like Rodri from Man City and Frankie De Jong from Barcelona and Tony Kroos from Real Madrid. And I was like, yeah. But now when I'm reading it, I'm not entirely sure what ball retention under high pressure even means like how do you Sounds calculate painful. that it does <laughs> yeah uh, so i think it means yeah, that uh we're we have a strong uh strong number six and that uh we're glad to have him next year right we all know he's good so um, I think the I just, stat. Do you is, think he uh, would have done well going overseas or like playing at a at a, a higher level? Do you think he could have? Yes, Morgan. Do you think he could? have? I actually think he could have. Like, I don't think Will Trap could have. Like Darlington could have. You know what I mean? 
Like I feel like he. Oh, Darlington's yeah. the best of his generation at his position of American soccer players. He just didn't. He he's just that dude that doesn't feel like he has shit to prove. Yeah. Yep. You know, like he, he's like, I can be great where I'm at and I don't need your definition of what my success looks like to make me feel successful. It, I just don't he know anybody won, in any he other. Won in, he won in Portland yeah. and, and Atlanta, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and twice in Columbus, they missed the final because of uh, COVID-19. You've heard of that. Um <laughs> This is something you have to look yeah. into, but uh, he did he come to he just came to Columbus because of Porter, right? Like we kind of owe his uh, probably his he's an Ohio boy to Porter. Yeah. Cleveland, yeah, oh, right? He went to coming Akron. back. It was going to be us or Cincinnati, correct? Yeah. yeah, okay, and not going to go to Cincinnati. But I, I always just wonder. He, do you know any other players that were just kind of like fine where they were at, but could have excelled? somewhere else but like literally didn't not because of like money or anything other than just like nah dude i don't want to do that i just think that's crazy like i don't know anybody else who you know could have done that and just opted not to because like i don't want to it just seems bananas to me yeah it seems like even the guys that that stuck around in america during their primes at least had you know like a Landon Donovan or mm-hmm. or a Michael Bradley or any uh, Clint Dempsey. They at least had like stop chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did well, yeah. like ch- over there. Yeah, you know? Chad Marshall could have played overseas, and I you know he tried, uh-huh. but uh, you know I think that he he went over to some German team and with the intention of leaving, and we knew or thought he was gone, and then he came back and preseason was like the tryout didn't go well and i think that was it for him mm. but that's crazy i think that darlington is obviously he, he just he's so good and he could put you know like he could play he could be he could have been starting for the national team for the last 10 years if he wanted to he could have been playing over in europe if he wanted to he just that dude is like he's like a low-key down to earth like ho-hum just the facts joe friday kind of guy who's like i like my family I'm from Ohio. I like Ohio. And, uh, you know, we'll uh, try to run it back next year. Yeah, that's like mm-hmm. a typical right, Ohio dude. Midwestern we'll person. <laughs> yeah, he's just like an Ohio guy. Like, I'm yeah. from Ohio. I like Ohio. Yeah. Ohio. All right. I get like, here. Got it. Hell, yeah, that makes perfect sense. My wife lives here. My kids live here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. They always, yeah. Like, moving, moving is hard. I know if you're an athlete, like, you, you have to do it a lot. I think typically the families stay – the families stay in the city and then the player usually has like an apartment somewhere. It, it just That's, depends. That sounds it, really hard. It depends on the length oh, of, yeah. of the contract though. I mean, I know yeah, that, true. for a fact that Russell uh, had a house here for six months, which seems insane. Well, but still, he got a house with his family. You know what I mean? Speaking of Mo's, Mo- Momo, oh, he had so many Mo's. Uh, There's no yeah, way to We need more Momo. The bandwagon more, KC fan. There he is. More, more. <laughs> bandwagon KC fan, huh? No, uh, we. It's it's been well documented that you have uh, you have ties to Missouri. Loose ties. And congratulations uh, on the Super Bowl <laughs> win. Uh, and then tell uh, you before we uh, jump back to the crew. I wanted to ask you more. You said in our text thread that. Your son is wearing a Niners jersey. How did he become a Niners fan? Uh, flag football. What can I tell you? You know, he is a Jets fan. He is he is a Browns fan. That's what his real team is. Wow. He is a Seahawks fan, and he's a 49ers fan because that's the three other teams he actually had a jersey from flag oh, football. I guess that so makes okay. sense. Got it. Got Back it. when yeah, I was playing so baseball, I was like a Ro- Colorado Rockies but, fan because I, ha- I played for the Rockies. It's, it sounded like he was rooting for the Niners in this game, right? Yeah, I don't know if it's bleeding through, but I can actually hear him still crying. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yeah, I guess I, I bring I bring all that up because after the uh, MLS Cup, which you brought your family to, and I know that you guys went to a lot of the games, and Finn watches. A lot of the, a lot of the crew game you had watched a lot of the crew games throughout the season and kind of got to see like a championship season through the eyes of like a nine year old. And yep. you said here after that win, like so you know soak it up 
right? Because like we people live their whole the lives watching a yes. team like the Blue Jackets. <laughs> I, I <laughs> like, said it before the game and make sure take it all in. Right. <laughs> take it all in. Remember this day because you know you don't get many of these right. also in your yeah, own house you and just live it up or whatever else. However this ends, this is something you're going to remember. Right. It's something special just being here. And of course, you know, winning it too. I mean, well, so I, I, what I, I guess what I'm driving at is I think that, um, his Niners, I'll call them, uh, losing, you know, I think that that draws a nice, a nice contrast to the, to the joy of the MLS Cup win. I think he's going to appreciate the crew win even well, more he, now. He's really, he's really a Browns fan. So, you know, he's <laughs> it's evening it up pretty quickly. So yeah. he knows that side of it already. Yeah. 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 Uh, yes, I think it has something to do with being at 11 o'clock on a Sunday as well. Oh, right, right. For a nine-year-old. Just the, like the childhood, uh, childhood uh, emotional instability, which I'm just yes. so intimately yes. familiar with. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome to the club. Well, thank um, you. So we were talking about Nagby. Uh, we were talking about you behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> o- only a couple times, uh, but we were talking about Nagby, and I was I, I did want to just spend a minute talking about Morris because, like, just for this position specifically, um, Morris is the protege to Nagby. Nagby is in his mid thirties, whatever. We have we have him on contract for a couple few more years, but. Um, how do you guys feel about, about this central midfield and our depth? Do we have a plan? Um, if Morris gets shipped off in the international break summertime. Like how, what do you think? Anybody? I think I we like have a contingency plan for it. I think Zawa can step in there. I, I Derek Jones might be somebody who can do that, but I think the front office has enough foresight that they know that that's no, something that Tim Bezbachinko has enough foresight. No, that's also true. Yeah. yeah, he they 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 have a they have a I think they have a plan because that's something that I think in one of the windows Morris could go, and at any point Morris could get hurt again or Nagby could run out of legs. So there there is they have something there. They I, I'm sure they have somebody lined up. I have faith in that. As far as what we were talking about earlier, I'm a, I don't I don't think like Morris moving on. I don't think Morris's ceiling is as high as Nagby's, just based on natural talent. I think Morris is awesome, but I don't think I don't think his. No, I I, I can agree on that. And you have to remember, Nagby, Nagby started his uh, career as like a kind of a flashy winger with a lot of skill and a lot of pace, and he had a physical ability that I think Morris don't have. I mean, that's also why he's so damn strong in the ball and so hard to get the ball off him. Mm-hmm. Just that strength and, and, and the skill set he's, he has. What was the stat think, again, Ben? What was the name of the stat? Ball possession uh, under tweet. pressure, high pressure. It's like something. I made this stat up. Yeah, it's like first in <laughs> ball retention <laughs> under high pressure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Brought to you by... So Red he's Bowl he's good at playing chicken is, is what that stat means, right? Yeah, he um, just he doesn't care if someone's on him because he's so yoked. No one can get like the ball off. Yeah, how many times have we seen him having like a guy climbing on his back pretty much, and he just holding on to it, turning with the ball, and delivering the pass with pinpoint precision? Right? It's it's very few that has that capability in in MLS, and MLS should be happy that he actually just stuck around because I think he could have done that in pretty much any league around the world. I still yeah, stand by that. We kind of compared him to, to to Will Trapp earlier, and the the thing that always struck me about Trapp is it it rem, it, it reminded me how little I know about the about seriously like a number six. Like you know when a nine is good, you know when a when a yeah. seven and a ten and a, a a goalkeeper and a center back, and it's tough to really go like wow that number six that number eight is really destroying everyone <laughs> uh, tactically. Yeah. But like Nagby, you watch Nagby play and you go, okay, no, okay, that's what it's supposed to look yeah, like. Yeah. I get it now. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, he, he just, that that guy, you know, like you were saying, Mo, he could have gone anywhere. He could have played anywhere. He could have played many positions. He just is rock solid. And, and it, it really shows, it, it tells you how good he is when, when a stat comes out, regardless of what that stat is. And it says he's the best in the world at this thing. Yeah. The and world. you go, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah it's yeah, not yeah. shocking. It doesn't shock nope. you. You go, yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, just but, but compared to like Rodri and Close and like all these insane people, and it's like, oh yeah, cool. I'm glad we have I, him in Columbus. I don't even pay attention to those leagues, so I don't know who that is. <laughs> Nagby is those words you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the thing that Nagby yeah. does is kind of like the Messi thing, like where he and, and like I, I'm not trying to compare to Messi. Like mm-hmm. I hate that that, but like he possesses the ball, and he's able to kind of walk around people and just glide. He doesn't like beat you with power or pace or like straight out athletic ability. If he does, you but, can't see it. You have to remember that, like when he's playing against all these other players. They're professional athletes as well. And he's holding on the ball. He's making ridiculous passes and he just glides past people, which is just fun to watch. And and that's why Messi can be fun to watch at times. If you get past the hype and actually get to the gameplay. But he's, and Nagby awesome. has that that ability where it's like, oh holy crap, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see, yeah, yeah I, I don't, uh, we'll we'll see about uh, uh, what that I, looks like. I I love <laughs> I love watching him. I'm just I feel like the I don't know how many more years we're gonna get to do that in Columbus. Enjoy and, every game. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. like yeah, and, and, it's the and same I, thing and he sold Finn. That, yeah, and I and I hope that uh, that we're planning for uh, for our. I, we just we rely on this on these positions so much it, so for the success of our our uh, <laughs> system. Um, I don't know. I hope I hope they uh, they have a plan for the next few years. Um, what else you got, Ben? A uh, couple of things. One, we were linked early on, like last week, with um, James Rodriguez. That no way that's going <laughs> to happen. They were he was working out with Cucho, I think. Um, during the Columbia when they, when he was away, mm. but I mean, there's, ah, there's, and we kind of debated if that was like a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I, I think we kind of landed on, it was like a ah, good thing, but he's, I mean, he's like injury prone and old, but the dude is nasty. See, um, did you get a uh, golden boot in, uh, it was a while ago or was it South Africa? Mm, yes. The World Cup. I don't, was 2010? It so South Africa, I think. Yeah, yeah, and then he went to Madrid, and, just, and that was South <laughs> Africa. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. <laughs> uh, um, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We yeah. played Toronto. Was that today? The friendly. We won four to two. Goals from like Ramirez at the spot. JRR, <laughs> the guy we got that we drafted, scored, which is interesting. Oh yeah, the, we you can see the videos on it. I think on on the crew Twitter, but. The guy was zoomed into a thousand, so you saw like <laughs> it was like cool. I sounded it because like- Toronto didn't want anyone to see the trialists that they had because they're they're secretive bitches. Yeah, like, that's that's the whole reason. Like they couldn't like a preseason game. It doesn't matter. They're like don't tell anyone what the score was. We don't want any. Oh wow, you have so much talent to protect protect from last year's wooden yeah, spoon winning ask. team. Huh? <laughs> they you, have get, tact- yeah. you have tactics that you don't want. Fucking the Eastern Conference to see. Yeah, we yeah. I know we finished you, at the bottom so. of the table, but the last four weeks we have done things. <laughs> yeah, you everyone's real imagine. scared of your possibilities. <laughs> yeah. 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 Speaking of Ben, you talk about uh, Russell Rowe. Hmm. I think it's huge that we retain him. Yeah, I do too. Because I, he could have gone. I, I bet there's teams that would definitely have taken him. 100%. Because he's, he's a good player. He just. It's just in the pecking order we have now. The quality we have in the the, the call it the front three or front four or whatever, uh, it's just so high. So I, I almost feel bad for him because when he had come in, he's he's been scoring some important goals. He's been playing some good games. I know you have a love for him. Oh yeah, and uh, what's that yeah. mean? But yeah, I do. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> I like the way he plays. Well, that being said, I desperately wanted someone to make a run at him because it would mean that we had plans for Cucho to stick around. Mm. Yeah, the, the longer that Christian Ramirez Ooh. and JRR are here, just makes me feel like. Well, that, yeah. Yeah. well, well I, 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 I said he's really good and I like him, but the drop off is, yeah, it, it's pretty yeah. big yeah. from yeah. Cucho down to Russell. Well, Cucho plays I, more, honestly, yeah. Cucho, he might be the best player in crew history. Honestly, like if we're being real about it, like I, yeah. I, I, I fucking worship at the altar of Guillermo and mm-hmm. like 
all that hot shit, but like, like peak, peak Cucho and like peak Stern John, maybe like these are, these are like, these are godlike figures that like single handedly, like he can will a team to a championship just by doing crazy. The last like 15 games of last season, he was involved in every goal we scored. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. He's untouchable. And he was out. We're lucky to have, 10 weeks or something like that, right? And he still was almost the yeah. golden boot winner and he was out for like Yeah, that's true. I forgot that he season. was out. Yeah, he well, missed a he missed a chunk of but time. But think about sure. how we got him. If if Watford didn't get relegated back then, he probably would be still in the Premier League. It's my guess. I guess I he had some cost that could know. make him move. Why well, you don't know? He was injured all season. He scored a goal in the Premier League, and if they would have stayed in the Premier League, I think he would still be in Premier League. Really? Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. when you drop to the championship, which is kind of a hard, and he probably his contract wasn't that great, and yeah, could get that sales. nice contracted crew, yeah. mm-hmm. he jumped on that. I'm, I'm sure he took a pay cut going down one division too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to get him some driving lessons because he literally almost ran me over uh, outside the stadium <laughs> last season while I was on a scooter. Was, it, was he like, in his? He was just like. <laughs> was he in his, in his, his, his like Lamborghini yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever it was? Yeah. yeah. Well, he just like he just like started turning into me, and I was like, ah, whoa, whoa, and he was like, oh, I, uh, uh, sorry. I'm like, it's a stop sign, dumbass. Alto, Don't. alto, alto. Stop going. Alto. <laughs> well, I mean, we all know Lamborghinis are hard to drive. I mean, those things are really difficult. It wasn't it's the, the driving SUV that was like, wasn't the driving that the was the problem. Yeah. It was the stopping. It was the stopping that <laughs> it was, was the SUV. Yeah. He, he would have stopped if he were official MLS gear and right. all that other stuff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, oh, oh, hey, 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 you know what Lord. I'm talking about. Look back here. You know where I'm standing on that. I love He's it. He's a sponsor, Mort. <laughs> I know. That's why I said I was trying to be Cucho? funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cucho's uh, a sponsor? No. <laughs> the one, well, the wonderful being... gear is sports boy. <laughs> yeah, so well, that, well, that being said, the last piece of crew news was we did find out that Cucho got interest and had offers from La Liga and a couple Premier League teams on deadline day that they tried to... We don't know specific teams, I think. I even tried to look it up. Yeah. I couldn't find it. probably anybody, West Ham and Norwich or something. It, I mean, it obviously wasn't lucrative but i do wonder if the pay was the same do you think he just nixed it because he wants to stay like like if it was like we're paying him three no. million and they're like yeah we'll pay you three million to come to yeah, say I, I think Brentford. if pays the same he's gonna stay here but i i think I, if it's a significant is, increase good. to a higher profile then he's gonna go like if, I, if he gets even a, a sniff at Crystal Palace or Aston Villa, I mean I know Villa is actually good this year. Yeah. He's going to go, but I don't know. I mean I I don't know. I think if it's mid to low table team and the money's the same, I think he stays here. He seems like a BMOC. Like he he revels in it. I don't know what that means. Big man on campus. Okay. All right. Yeah. 90s, yeah, 90s reference. Yeah, that's a long one. Yeah, it's 90s almost, reference. You yeah. might as well say "big man on campus." It takes just as long. <laughs> <time>. No, <laughs> campus is two syllables. I was checking. You might as well. Oh, okay. yeah. You saved a syllable. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. job. Yeah, yeah and okay. the, I guess the yeah, the last thing I wanted to talk about. No more crew news, but it's more like soccer news. Is the new uh, the introduction of the blue card now, Morgan? Do you know much about the? Oh, we I guess we talked about it prior to hopping on here. Mm-hmm. The blue card that was kind of announced for FIFA that they were going to try over overseas, but they were going to try it in like the Premier League and stuff like that. I know it's now on hold, but the basic gist of this is uh, you have a yellow card, which is a warning and kind of you know whatever you can get yellow card accumulation, and then there's the red card, but they wanted something in between. And so they came out with a blue card, which is basically what they call the sin bin, which is you, if you receive this card, you are off the field for 10 minutes and then you're allowed back on the field. But if you receive like two blue cards, it's a red card. You're like off the thing. But basically, you know, I, I'm looking back to when Vela took out <laughs> I think Cucho. this tells it all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. <laughs> Explaining oh, soccer wait, 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 to non fans is hard enough. <laughs> well, it's just, no, it's just like a no. ten minute, like uh, you know, like a hockey thing, like where you just like yeah. you're, you're kind of off. But like, what if you get a blue and then a yellow? Are you out? 
Yes. I think I think it should have been orange that they're trying to address. Like, what is this the solution for the red? The red is too severe. And it can kick people off for something that maybe isn't severe enough to send them off for 90 minutes. Do two yellows guess. still equal a red, or do two yellows equal a blue? Yeah. I believe so. I, yeah, two yellows still equal a red. But like, picture, you remember when Vela took out Cucho on the sideline and he rolled around for like 20 minutes? Yes. Yeah. That was a blue card, essentially. Like, they didn't kick him off because his name's Carlos Vela and it's the MLS final. It was absolutely a red card. But like, if they wanted to give him a blue card, they'd be like, cool, you're off for 10 minutes. You have an, the other team has an advantage. That it's would like be a, like a, that. A, and, a, ma- a major and a minor penalty in hockey, right? Bingo. Like there's like a oh a one minute uh, two minute power play as opposed to like a ten minute minor or something. But what's weird, yeah, what's weird is when they were listing the rule, the first thing that they were trying to address is dissent. And I'm like, giving a blue card for dissent seems such like a personal thing, like yelling at a ref and then getting sent off for ten minutes is like seems ridiculous to me at least. That's my opinion. I mean, you so, shouldn't be like sent off for ten minutes. If you're my like, only That's a issue. Call. It's like uh, my only yeah. issue with all of this is that they're gonna have to reset the cards. So, like a red card is gonna have to be like the malicious intent, like you tried to kill the guy. Mm-hmm. The yellow is gonna be like, all right, we know, cool, that was cynical. Yeah, you're gonna get a yellow, and then blue is gonna be everything in between. Well, wait, let's call the Moyumba card. Remember Atlanta? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no. Actually, we, we I, I literally like brought that up to Ben. I was like, game. that's a perfect, that's a first perfect thing example of, of a blue card is the guy who keeps fouling, and you're like, dude, I don't want to kick you out of the game, but this is enough. Here's a blue that's card. You're off for 10 minutes. 37 seconds. But the, the, here's, the, here's the thing. They can't get the yellow cards. They can't get the red cards. They can't get the two cards they have in their pocket right already. So now we're going to introduce a third and think it's going to make anything better. I don't believe in it. I, I really do not. That's going to fix anything. Yeah. My yeah. issue is I watch a lot of EPL and they do like slow motion. And in slow motion, I'm like, yeah, that looks bad. But in real time, it's like I understand why the guy kicked the ball, went through the ball, and the cleats hit the shin guard. But it's not. Yeah. And they're like red card because it was cleats up. And it's like eh, it wasn't like that dangerous. He wasn't trying to hurt him. But if he got but kicked. But the other I, the other. I like it, but I'm in the minority. The, the other part is, what do you do? You put like a bike like they have on the football fields on the sideline because <laughs> you can't have a guy standing around and sitting down for 10 minutes in the middle of a game and then have to go in and play again. I can guarantee you're going to get injured again. Andres Mendoza. I, to- Mendoza. <laughs> I know Morgan. Morgan's a fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got plenty of experience doing nothing for 10 minutes. And That's then right. Trying to get back into the game. I don't know. Messi routinely <laughs> doesn't do anything for like 20 minutes. No, he right? just, yeah, he just walks percent. around. Well, he walks and jogs and stuff. <laughs> if there's enough space on the side, I guess he can but still do But that's part of his at, thing. As we're told, it's part of his thing. It is. Yeah. He's surveying. He's surveying the field. It's okay when you're that good. You can yeah. do whatever the hell you want. I, you know, yeah, I'm I'm always true. in favor of of especially old ass leagues, old ass sports rather, trying to figure out what makes it a little bit better. Like I don't think anyone can argue that baseball wasn't better last year with the with the quick the pitch clocks and the. Yeah, bigger bases, speeding and it up, not allowing it to throw over to first more than twice, mm-hmm. and putting runners on second in extra innings like that. And that is the oldest, most curmudgeon ass sport in, in oh, yeah. the world. Yeah. And it instantly was made better. And everyone who was a baseball purist was like, this is going to ruin the integrity of, you know, something that, first of all, baseball, they didn't play with, <clears throat> they didn't play with like, Italians, because they were too dark for like you know the first hundred yeah. years. <laughs> you know? So like, yeah. the integrity yeah. of this game was compromised a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, it, was an, it was an Aryan sport. Yeah, sure, maybe yeah. If, you know maybe yeah. blue cards will make it better. Maybe it doesn't. I I kind of like it's it's one of the things that's great about MLS Next Pro is they yeah. Are, yeah, yeah. it's kind yeah. of like this trial ground for you know what's I'm not saying like go with yeah. like twenty yard wide goals and countdown clocks and yeah shit from early mls like, like the old the know. old basketball hoop or the mtv basketball hoop it was like 25 points if you threw yeah. it like way high at, at some point so, it will become jocks. basketball and the denzel basketball <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. yep. savannah wow, savannah movie. bananas right like, wow. dude, yeah. i'm, I'm all about savannah but, but twerking and tweaking <laughs> around the edges is you know 
A lot of good stuff comes yeah. from that. Yeah, yeah I, like, I don't. It, it'll be. I think, think they about should the try pass it. Back like, rule. Correct. Rule ever. Yeah, the pass back rule is. Uh, What's that? So, goalie can't use his hands. Yeah. Yeah. You see, have you seen the game from the eighties where they keep pass? You're up one nothing, and all you do is passing it back to the goalie, and he picks oh. it up with his hands. I throws don't it out to a guy, that. and he passes it back to the goalie. He picks uh. it up with his hands, and they kill like ten minutes like that. Wow. It's stupid. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, also, they're, they're hard. To, Outside of the hmm. box was another thing that I'm glad they switched. Like you could oh, pass it to your own kicks. team inside the box. Yeah. yeah, I think that also is great. Yeah. The the argument though, which is ironic that you bring up the baseball thing, is that it slows the game down. So like let's say a guy comes off the field. Like it is hard to watch a game when one player goes down for the entire game because then one team just sits in and it becomes boring. So the argument that I heard from Ange, the coach of the Tottenham team, was just like, you know, we're trying to make these games snappier like baseball. And you're taking this game and slowing it down. <laughs> and I was like, because there's more stuff, oh, yeah, more okay. things to keep. Make up. It yeah, there's more clutch yeah. for Courtney. Make it snappier, like baseball is trying to make it snappier, not making it not snappier like baseball, like baseball <laughs> is snappy. <laughs> yes, yes. Like the gold standard of snappiness. Right. Well, Major League Baseball. <laughs> when was the last time I watched a baseball game? Yeah. 98, 99, yeah. 18, but yeah, uh, you guys know what I mean. Like I, it'll slow it I, down. I'm, it may not have I, the general. I think it's good. They should try it. They should try it. And I'm with Morgan too. Like uh, mm -hmm. next pro trying things out um, that aren't you know for for comic value you know or comedic value. But did they like, use the blue card in next pro last year? No, no, no. they did not. No, they used the substitution rules and some of those things. I believe. Yeah, that, and that got implement. enacted and this that, year. I, I'm fine with that. The only the question was we we discussed this a little bit last week was. You know, if if you get actually kind of really hurt, it's probably suddenly. Oh like yeah, you if get you're down for 15 for seconds, you have to be off the field for two minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's a weird one. Yeah, but that's that's. Yeah, I mean, exactly that, that kind of that would kind of happen anyway, though, right? Like yeah. if you were if you were in seriously theory, injured, if you're hurt, yeah, if you're hurt, you're hurt. If you're hurt, then you would have been off the field anyway, for two and, minutes -ish anyway. and the yeah. sub should have occurred anyway, or something. I don't know. Again, trying to make it snappy like baseball. Just I'm, like I'm doubling well. down on that quickest game. Okay, so uh, Haas, uh, do you do you know when he texted about twenty minutes? He never texted. He said twenty minutes. I'm hoping that he'll yeah. join soon. But what I did want to do because this is our last week before we have to like actually do real predictions. Um, I, oh, yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter because Haas is just so profoundly bad at predictions that <laughs> <Dude>. um, <laughs> predicting game scores is his so his hard. take will not will not matter be valuable at all. <laughs> to, you know, <laughs> but uh, I wanted to I wanted to just kind of go around and hear. I mean, and I this is totally self serving just because I it my prediction last year. Which which wasn't before the season started, I'll admit, but it was like in April about the crew not winning a game one to zero because of the way that we play, and then that coming to pass with the and I'll I'll note the exception of the uh, the open, open cup. cup game against the Indy Eleven where Mo yeah, Farsi scored one goal and we won one to zero, but. Um, we we were able, you guys gave me some grace there. Other than that, there was no one to zero uh, score. I'm feeling I'm riding that high, and I want to take some time now to make some bold predictions about the crew or the league um, as we head into this this next week, where it'll be our our last week before the season starts. Hello, Adam Hernandez here, fellow crew fan and Columbus-based artist, muralist, and designer. When I'm not making art, I'm looking at art. And when I'm looking at art, I want it to come to life. That's why I made my new augmented reality prints. What's an augmented reality print, you may ask? Well, I make my really cool psychedelic art come to life in the palm of your hand. Check out my website, ahernandezart.com or at ahernandezart to learn more. They're really rad. Ahernandezart. Let's go around and just kind of throw out our bold predictions. I told you guys about this, so I hope you have, have something to share. You can pass, I guess, if you want. Um, I have one. Okay, great. So let's let's since you volunteered more, let's go around and uh, give our bold predictions for the twenty twenty four season. Something that you're going to want to brag about in hopefully December. Mort, what's your bold prediction of twenty twenty four? 
I predict that the Columbus crew will be involved in the game with the most total goal scored ever in the MLS. What is okay. it? Oh, like, so we're talking about like a six wow. to five, like some kind of game. <laughs> okay. What's seven, the record? Seven to six. Uh, let me yeah, we'll have to. I, don't know. I, I have just, no idea what the plays. record is. I'm just throwing but it let's, out there. Let's let's clarify. I think we should give you the grace again of like regular season MLS type games, right? We don't want any of the like, you know, the Riverhound blowout of. 1990. And I haven't checked the stats, so this this okay, is so, going out on the so, limb. Well, this is just shooting from the fine. hip. We got plenty of time to look that up. I like it. I like it, and I hope that we see it. Are we going to win that game? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course we're going to win it. Okay. Most goals scored in one game in MLS history is 11 on May 6, yep. 1998. The Galaxy beat the Rapids seven to four. Seven to four. Okay. It's like a hockey. Wow. It's like a hockey score. Football score. And you said six to five. You weren't that far off. Yeah, pretty close. I was, okay. I was just guessing. Lot. I was feeling That's it. a lot of goals. There have been four instances <laughs> of 10 goals scored in a game, one of which included the Columbus Crew as a 6 4 loss yeah. to the Kansas City Wiz in 1996. And they're hmm. coming. They're coming this year. The let's, Wiz. Uh, let's was turn Michael Jackson on that team? Coming all over. Yep. Wiz yeah, is well, coming. The Wiz is not coming, but. <laughs> one or the other. One. In my yeah. uh, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you have four kids. So, <laughs> uh, uh, Ben, you got one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I said a got one more in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> shifting, yeah. shifting the conversation away from. All right, having come, children, come on, Ben. Bring it. Come on, Ben. Come, hurry up. <laughs> All right. So, I I think we win the league. I, I think we have the most points at the end of the season. <laughs> We're going to get the supporter shield. That no, no, no. He said win the really league. Loudly he said win the league. What, what league? Do you mean? The league's cup? <laughs> <laughs> I also I also think we win a trophy that's not the MLS cup. I don't think we win MLS cup. That's not Because cool. that's a tall order, but I think we ha- we win the we win the supporter shield, which okay. we win. That's league. And then I also think we win one of the... We either win Open Cup because we'll probably end up playing, but Ooh. I think I think we win so, Leagues Cup. These are specific, non-specific. Yeah, you haven't really said anything other than the that's the shield. best. That's what I do. <laughs> okay. Let me give you it a specific good, prediction. I bad. mean, I heard I heard we're going win in there, and that's I mean that's a prediction. I mean that could be it. It doesn't have to be more than that. Yeah, it does. So, but it was. So. <laughs> Not really though. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. I'm good with that. Uh, I'm just gonna put you down for supporter shield. Uh, okay, yep. and and then you can kind of wade through whatever, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, reverse yeah. engineering. I was right, kind of verbiage <laughs> later. Uh, I got it. And yeah, hopefully, I'm, note that I'm gonna box him in. I'm gonna winners. box him in on mine. So <laughs> okay, all right. In the cup last year, Trey, what's yours? Yep. Uh, we are gonna win the supporter shield with a record point tally. Ooh. Record point wow. tally. So, yep. so, and okay, I cannot yes, and explain. So, hey, okay, it currently sits at seventy-three. Are you, are you googling right? Well, no, 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 no it's cheese cow. Or, well, it's not cheese cow. <laughs> Swiss, uh, Swiss, Swiss, Swiss cow. cow. Swiss cow. Yeah. We cheese it. Swiss cow. Cheese it. We're so, cheese it. Yeah. seventy-three. Morgan, if you're gonna look it up, look it up on Swiss cow because you don't want to accidentally see a picture yeah, you of a dick. literally like <laughs> yeah. covenant, yeah, Co- covenant Behind eyes. Let's just say covenant eyes, covenant eyes, covenant eyes. So everybody else experiences what I've experienced from Mark telling me one time. <laughs> Look, we do, we're, we do everything here to avoid uh, accidentally seeing things that we don't want to see. I mentioned Covenant Eyes to Trey, and, and now it's all over his Facebook. It's all over my Facebook. Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> At least right. that's his excuse. Uh, Morgan, yeah. I cannot explain mm. how thankful I am that you're here because of how quickly Still. you produced that uh the seven to four stat That's right. um, earlier, and I I just know that you're going to be able to tell me now what the what the point a record is. Most points in MLS shield. history, the New England Revolution, of course, in the yep. year 2021, 73 yep. points. Yeah, uh, oh, I thought it was more than that. 72 was points LAFC in 2019. Yeah, and then uh, 73. Of the okay. of the top, let's see, 15. Oh, there she point, is. Point season, point totals. 2021, 2019, 2018, 2017, 2023, 2022 are all in there. So, wow. did we add games? Did we add like? There has been more games, but 
Yeah. Yeah, but not not okay. nah. It's been not that. it's been thirty four for a long time. No, there's been there's been fewer there's been fewer crossover games. That's true. Yeah. Right. We used to have more right. crossover games. Okay. All right. So a couple things to to just reiterate there. Trey thinks we're going to score more than, not equal, more than correct seventy three points. Because you asked for a under. very specific prediction. Yeah, I like that. I love not, that. Yeah, I love it. Not a generally specific. We're going to win something. Okay. Maybe this one. Maybe that one. Yeah. Okay. I like that, and it's so funny when I'm the, right. <laughs> so while while Morgan was uh, doing the only actual work, uh, he's the only one working here. That's right. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is correct. Uh, while he was doing that, Haas joined. Welcome, Haas. Hello. Hey, Haas. Did your team win? Did hey. your team win? Did your snack win? Yeah. How were the snacks? Win? The snacks, 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 snacks good. The snacks were good. Uh, Which, all wait, of my bets. All prepare? of my bets lost. Uh, uh, it was we're like not surprised. Twenty. 20 bucks total, you know, between like four bets. Who gives a shit? Did they only cut the Taylor Swift <laughs> like you, 20 times and not 22 I times? Was not, Is that I was not playing bet? the Taylor Swift drinking game. <laughs> Did you contact okay. Darby for betting advice beforehand? No. You should have. Before you joined, I did mention how bad you are at predicting things. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so I guess we'll just, I mean, I, and I, Morgan, I hope I, I have not forgotten about you. I am saving your your slot for for last because um because I think that's it's a good I slot. Think that's, it's a good slot. Yeah. Uh, um. So let's just tuck Haas's throwaway uh, prediction in here. Uh, what you missed, Haas, was we're talking about bold predictions for the twenty twenty four <laughs> season. Um, I'd say that mostly we've gotten some bold predictions. Uh, Mort said we were going to. I've already said a record, said, a record oh, amount. Oh, yeah, that's right. Goals scored in a record game. of total goals scored, including the opponent's goals. Total. Yeah. Uh, Trey said we're going to outscore the supporters' shield points record and win the supporters' shield while doing mm-hmm. it. Ben made an italic prediction. I would say bunny it was, ears. Uh, you know, it wasn't quite bold, but um, I just said we're going to underlined. Win. He said we're gonna win. He said we're gonna win. We're gonna win really a long tournament. <laughs> we're gonna maybe win that something. tournament. Maybe not uh, a tournament. I have not yet predicted, uh, but I would like to ask you now: What's your bold prediction for the 2024 season? Um, unlike you don't take much time because you know, unlike Ben and Tracy believe, according to what? their other podcast speakings, we are not gonna lose. <laughs> we are not gonna lose. Aiden Morris. We are not going to lose Cucho, and we are not going to lose Nancy this year. They will all be on the team for the year, and Aiden Morris will be the team MVP at the end of the season. Like at the Promo West Pavilion Uh, Casino Night? I will (laughs) argue if all of that holds true, (laughs) Trace and Ben's predictions might come true as well. All right, Haas. But if one of them leaves... You have to give me a kiss on the mouth. Nope. That's but if a- all three if all three stay, I'll kiss you on the mouth. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> we just. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, yeah, there were just in a hot tub I, I, or I, not? Yeah, I mean, I, I know we had the wait, hot Ben. Tub you talk, have a hot tub. Like, I have a lot a- of, in a hot tub. Yeah. The- yeah, in a hot tub. Oh yeah, it's a, mystery okay. hands. I was gonna say, if this, gets, hot tub. if this gets any gayer, Zadar and Darby will just show up. <laughs> is that how Darby showed up? Darby's already yeah. here. Yeah. Darby, yeah, Dar- Dar- <laughs> <laughs> he's in my hot tub right now. This comes on up. <laughs> he's one. He's texting me, wondering why we're he's why down we're there betting. So Are you guys talking betting. to Morgan? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect dots up sound. Uh, you know, I I like I like all these predictions. Um, I want to just just because um, just because it felt so good. I will let my prediction from last season ride on the one to wow. zero. We're gonna go Love another it. year. Love no it. One, no one to zero. Okay, that's okay. If I, Why do you put if it on I had a way to bet on it, I would. I. I, but I don't know. I don't know how, and I I work too hard for the money I have. So uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna enjoy uh, seeing that come to pass. Um, 
because it's fun. I feel like if you could have bet that, that would have been some big odds. I wonder how much you could have won. Is that even a thing you can bet? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We talked about how to a team not to win one nothing all season. If you're a a really degenerate gambler, you could have probably talked the house into betting that. Yeah. Yeah. I just I don't know the house. (laughs) Right. (laughs) That's the problem. Hate that show. (laughs) He's a doctor. Oh, it's, it's just house. And an alcoholic. <laughs> Have you seen the, the Good the Doctor? That show sucks. All right. All right. Sorry, all go right. ahead. No. So, uh, but no, the, my my bold prediction for this season, and I, I, again, I, I said, I think, during a break that I felt like this was hot when I had this take, and it's I don't think it's that hot anymore. But um, Miami's not making the playoffs, guys. That's my bold prediction Ooh. of the season. Um, they're not going to make the playoffs. I think Ooh. these guys are washed. They're, they got a lot of talent there, um, but they're either washed or comfortable. And actually, for the long term game, the, the for the long term game of this league, I think that's the best thing that could happen. Why do you say that? Because just bringing in some old dudes to a team and it's all old, it's it says this is all like commercial gimmicky retirement league, league. yeah, and not like yeah. yeah retirement league and not like a really professional like mm. serious league. The fact that they failing that it's more focused on actually up and coming talent and all that, and that that come that's what we'll see have success, and you see them bringing in these people that are over the top old washed out because they're they wouldn't play a lot a lot of them would not play in a big league anymore because that's why they're not playing in a big league anymore. Yeah. That's I think that's yeah, it's it's fun for a year. It gets a lot of focus and all that, but no. So <laughs> it happened last year and the crew won with like three crew two players on the field. You know what I mean? Starting. Yeah, so I, here's so my, we, the, we already, my thought on Miami it. is this. I thought like I have a so much respect for Messi. Oh, yeah. Loved watching the World Cup. Um, these guys are uh, like I, I don't know. I feel like it's the uh, he like he just keeps like the injuries. I have a lot of questions on the injuries. I have questions. I mean, I'm here now. I'm gonna like I was mocking the Taylor Swift you know endorsement thing. I don't know who who on the Nordeka board she's gonna endorse. Uh, you know, with the with the, uh, with the election buddy investigation notwithstanding, but, but uh, uh, all that we'll is follow up that with a with an actual uh, upper ninety all, club statement. All that, short uh, all that aside, uh, I I feel like um, the, you know, like yeah, the 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 winning of the league's cup. And the release of the documentary about Messi coming to MLS and like everything's vertically uh, integrated with the Apple platform. Like I, I have some conspiracy theories <laughs> that I'm not going to get into right now. Yeah, but like, we need to do that. I, yeah, but like I don't know. And then and then Suarez, like the biting. Yeah. You know, like I feel like it's kind of <laughs> like the the wife in that. Uh, I think you should leave sketch that just keeps eating batteries. You know, it's like, why? Yeah. like hold that door. <laughs> yeah, like, why does it keep happening? Like, yeah. you never know Calico when he's going to bite Pants somebody, you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of good eats in Miami and we're going to see like how he does on the field. But um, I don't know. I, I, I think that they've built a beautiful structure, and I think it's going to collapse over the end of the season. Not making the playoff, though. It's a yeah. big playoff. I, no, I'm saying I, that. It's I, a I bold can't say that you're wrong. No, no, no. It's 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 a wonderful bold prediction. I like it. It's very MLS 2.0, like where it's like Miami just hasn't caught up to like the Bezbachinkos and and like the other teams that are actually building to move forward in the league. Like Philly, and they're just like, yeah, yeah we're just going to buy a bunch of people, and you know. Yeah, they'll come. It's like and if you ask Chat Chelsea. GPT what your right. team should be, and it's like ah, but yeah. no one would say that. So you know? what like, we're gonna do is we're gonna get David <laughs> Beckham. No. Oh wait, we already yeah. have him. And right. Keen. Oh wait, we already have him. And yeah. Zlatan. You know, it just it sure. Yeah. Like I, yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. with you. Like I, I differ. I think they'll make. Because it's so easy to make the playoffs, I think they'll make the playoffs. 
Yeah, we'll see. They didn't but do it. They didn't I do it last so year. They didn't. They thought, they thought that not. he was going to come. Hashtag messy effect. Yeah. All right, Morgan. I want to hear it. I respect your opinion. Oh, I don't boy. know if I said it during there the even recording or left? not, but I'm a huge, I'm a huge Aces radio fan. Uh, you, you have single handedly saved the crew. I've heard that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you and only you. You're my hero. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear your bold prediction. Right. No pressure. Wow. Lay it out. It feels good to finally be recognized for all of my many accomplishments, including when Alex <laughs> Thomas and I saved the crew by ourselves. <laughs> without Mike DeWine. Without Mike, you're predicting, without Mike DeWine. Please uh, say your prediction is we lose the crew. <laughs> I, I did, the crew go to Austin and start a second team in Austin. <laughs> I did go to the uh, Carolina Challenge yeah. Cup like the year after the crew was saved, like two months after you know the crew was saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was yeah. like, it's pretty nice here. Uh, yeah. I, can yeah. uh, I can I, I can yeah. see this. Yeah, I could I could the Spanish moss, I like it. My my whole prediction is that the worse that we do in these competitions that we play in outside of MLS, the more successful we will be. No team that plays fifty fucking games a year is going like to be successful in putting stars above their badge in MLS. And at yeah. the end of the day, that's really are you saying, we, are you saying we should tank the open cup? I don't think, I, I don't think that Champ- <laughs> I don't think we ever cup. not tank the open cup. I think we should <laughs> right. continue to, yeah. I mean, honestly, <laughs> honestly, uh, I, I don't really count um, the league's cup because we take a, a month off from the regular season. Correct. But, yeah. The, yeah, more, yeah, yeah. the more games we have to play in CONCACAF Champions Cup, the more – if we make a run in Open Cup, we have to play in uh, the Campiones Cup. The more, the more <clears throat> miles that you put on these guys' legs, the more that we're going to get sniped by these teams that are, that are you know, Rested. frankly not as good as we are. Right? Middling. And yeah. when, it comes, to, when yeah. it comes to MLS, and specifically when it comes to the Columbus Crew in MLS, you win – by having home playoff games, yeah, and yeah, and also, yeah but we didn't last last time we played. Uh, at, yeah, don't worry about. That's a beautiful story we can tell. That's a beautiful story we can tell. And it is so <laughs> outside of the norm that aberration yeah, right. is. So we were down unique. two nothing. So the blind yeah, man wasn't blind; right. he could see. Right. So if, I, if that takes that takes a miracle. If we do win supporter shield, there is no chance we're not winning MLS Cup. It's specifically yeah. this team at that this stadium agree. right now. It's you yeah. know I I don't want us to shit or flame out of any competition we play in, specifically the Open Cup. But if we have to in order to put a fourth star above our shit badge, totally go Bucks. Do it. I like the badge. <laughs> Beaner. Beaner. No. Of course, that isn't a prediction at all. Hey, and I stand. I, by. I, I have a question about the uh, Campione. Yeah, why are Cup we shitting on him? Called this year yeah. the, because he's our Champions guest. Cup. Okay, uh, that makes that's sense. why. That's right. We don't shit on hey. the guest, Ben. I put it in the document. <laughs> did you read that? I put it on top. I did. <laughs> no, I see it. All now. right, the Champions Cup this year. Is there a club? World Championship Club? Is that every year? So if they win that, are we going to like the World? The CONCACAF Champions oh, the Cup, actual- we win that, we go to the Club World Cup, yes. Yeah, so how would you rank having the chance to go there over, for example, the uh, winning the regular season? I am yeah. not a Euro snob. We, we, I don't pay attention to European soccer. I could give, I could not give less of a shit about any of that stuff. Wouldn't it be fun it to see the crew matter. playing Manchester okay. City? So you wouldn't, you wouldn't think it would be fun to see them playing Manchester City? Two, these two thoughts can exist oh. at the same time, and it is this. It is number one. Yes, if the Columbus Crew <laughs> went and won the Club World Cup, we would all be oh yeah, like, dead. Sweet. Bl- dead. Like, we would die. <laughs> we would just die. We, we would, would all actually, die. We would expire, and it would be either through our heads or through our asses. Like I don't know how it would happen, but we would all die. But that's number but that's two. Never happening. That's never number two. Happen. No one yeah. can name any why, Club World ever. Cup winner <laughs> ever this in the history of the Club World Cup, right. and none it's of it matters right. yeah. because it's so esoteric and and nonsensical yeah, and like derivative, right? Like to win the Club World Cup, 
you're like four seasons removed from your successful era, aren't yeah, you? Potentially. Like, yeah. yeah, or something. No, it's like at least a year after. Yeah, yeah, at least it's at least two years, right? It's, because you have like it's it changes the rules change like how you get into it changes. We, yeah. it, it's yeah. being held in America next time, and I don't think that we're totally clear what? on the qualification criteria yet. So. Yeah. I mean, if, if Messi's do we automatically team, get if bought Messi's in? Still playing for Inter Miami, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume they find a way to get that team in there. <laughs> yeah, 100%. leagues cup, oh, best leagues jersey. Cup. They'd like have a leagues have a cup birth vote man. of That's number of it. jerseys sold. Who Numbers won of it jerseys last year? Sold Who won it last year? Who won Messi to America. <laughs> Two Liverpool. season two, right? Like that's Liverpool. The, the follow up to the documentary. And you said you're not a Messi or a Euro snob. Didn't I? Th- I know Liverpool won one of them. Somebody just beat Tigres like in the last one. Mm. Uh, City won. City won the because they won like pretty much everything. But you guys have Liverpool. access to SwissCow.com. Like while we're talking, so I don't feel like this I'm is like totally authentic right now. <laughs> 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 oh man, okay, there's a so crab on I, the field. I, yeah. I I I I think that uh, I think we're good. I think going into next week, we, are we? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay. uh, you got something else to add? Because no. I'm about to, I'm about to kill this. It was thing. more of a general comment. <laughs> oh yeah, well I, yeah, that I can't. Uh, you'll, that's between you and your therapist. But like, hopefully by the next uh, recording, we'll have figured out who actually won Nordak elections last year. Yes, <laughs> yes. Much like the Club and, World Cup, you may, you never know when you've qualified or how. <laughs> you know, yes, three years down the road. <laughs> We do know that we do know that Joe Biden was not among the six young gentlemen who stole that crew flag last year. <laughs> we don't know that, uh, uh, but he also do, doesn't know that. The six but, young gentlemen, but we six do. younger gentlemen. Yeah, younger gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every nice. every time I play EAFC as the crew online, and there's it cuts very <laughs> quickly to a giant like. 10 by 10 flag being waved and I want to snap a picture of it and I'm never quick enough to do it. (laughs) This team is owned by multiple billionaires and they're like, we really need the fucking supporter group to tweet out, you know, like a, a crime stopper. <laughs> doing a flag back. Yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah. You, why have you not come out with like a big flag for us to buy? <laughs> with like six, yeah, you should get a right. flag. Yeah. The, get, the get, make a flag with yeah. six guys stealing a flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> like, uh, like the most. <laughs> no, like when they're planting <laughs> yeah. the flag, it's like, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Just the three guys yeah. on the crew yeah. badge twice. Iwashima, yeah. 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 yeah, the yeah. actual yeah. them planting the flag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's in a it's keg at a high state campus. But it's six. <laughs> but it's six guys planting it. <laughs> As we sit here, I feel like we need to rename. We should start a new podcast and call it Six Younger We Wish Gentlemen." <laughs> six <laughs> anyway. Younger Gentlemen. Oh, yeah. God. We could call that. We <laughs> won't attract any of the wrong crowds. Yeah. No. Hey, <laughs> you listeners are listeners, man. <laughs> you guys ever get Bez on the show? Because God knows he'd never come back to Aces Radio. But if he ever comes on the show, <laughs> ask him like what the correlation between like the Young DP initiative and the six younger gentlemen crime syndicate <laughs> is. Like, is there any overlap? Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. Like, how many well, slots? He- if you, oh, he you know, absolutely knows. Back. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure we would get him to comment on the six younger gentlemen if he ever came on this show. Uh, but until then, uh, we have uh, we, we have uh, only only one more show until the season starts. So, uh, what do you think it would take to get Best Pachinko to come go on hunt the show? family? What? Oh, he won't. He's not going to do it. Threats. What? what no, we're, we're yeah. uh, I don't I don't think we're uh we're not focused. His dad on. is my dentist. Yeah. Okay. Ask him. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Never mind. Never, forget what I said. <laughs> I don't want to. There's the next end. Time, next, the next time show, next time you're there and be like could you get your son to come on? The show? <laughs> Why are they always asking questions while they're in your mouth? <laughs> yeah. For the record, we What's didn't ask him to be on our show. He just we just talked enough shit about him com- going on Massive Report that the oh. uh, director of communications was like, "Okay, he's coming on uh, on next Thursday or whatever." We were like, "We don't actually want him." But we'll just <laughs> I'm surprised he wasn't one of the one of the. Uh, live fans. Was it? Was it during that era? It was. No, no, it couldn't have been. Oh, it, it was. was. It really? Okay. Yeah, it was. Oh, that's it was, awesome. 
I mean, it was it was right after. Yeah, it was it was like the year after the crew was saved, right? Okay. No, when right. they when the yeah, team there was, still yeah, wanted to do PR. Some kind of, there was yeah, some yeah. kind of eclipse. He's good I feel, people. Between yeah, where you guys people. went hey. from live to not live and monthly and COVID nineteen, yeah. kind of like there was this like honeymoon yes. period where Bezbachenko showed up and and will never show up again. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. It was tw- we did live shows still through 2019. So he came out in 2019. Okay. Right. Yeah, he mm-hmm. brought us a jersey and everything. Wow. So cool. Radio 96 on the back of it. Sponsored 24. It's like oh, a 2x. I was like, what the fuck, man? You didn't even ask my size. <laughs> you think I wear a 2x? <laughs> well, maybe, you, maybe two of you got. He knew that about the hot tub thing. You guys could share one. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's not entirely uh, accurate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then shout out to uh, – did we ever talk about the uh, the jersey giveaway last season? And about like the – the uh, well, oh, you know, oh, the, the, sign, yeah, yeah, the yeah. sign. Oh, the so, signing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we ever yeah. talk about that? No, I don't think I don't so. Know. I think, did you guys see what we wrote on it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Bills Mafia stuff. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, we yeah. Did. yeah. Yeah. Also, just just to to put a bow on it, um, our jersey giveaway. Who won that? Eric. He was uh, out. Of- uh, what's his name? Uh, New Sh- Schneidlubs or whatever his name is. Nui. Oh, Inui. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Inui. Inui. Yeah. Inui, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we said that we were gonna send a jersey, which we did, signed by the best well, Columbus we Crew did. podcast. By another yeah. podcast. <laughs> no, we said no, the we best there, Columbus right. Crew podcast, and then yeah. we had Morgan and and Darby and, <laughs> and all the aces. Really, really right. wishing, yeah, it's it's not, I really wish everyone it was over else. there signed it and <laughs> yeah. sent it to him. Like and Eric, great. Eric knows us and like listens to Aces Radio. Like if it shows up, he's like, okay, these guys are just fucking with me. I wanted it to be someone who had like a new fan or someone that had right. like no yeah. idea. Yeah. Fucking crew. Yeah. A Buffalo Bills <laughs> themed crew jersey shows up signed by people he doesn't know. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's Sign kind of our down. mo is sending, is sending like random stuff to people. Like I was no, just sending random that's stuff yours. from my house, and everyone's like, "What are you sending me?" I'm like, we had no wow. say in this. Ben, you just decided to do it. It's yeah. I'm like, don't worry, very, we loved it. I got it. We've been very adamant this year of like, no, we are not yeah. sending crap from Ben's house. Well, well, and so you know, Ben, we more well, like I, I got to give a lot. Of, I mean, you know, just that I feel like. God, is this the last episode of season two? Is that what this is? We're this like is prob- wrapping yes. up season two. It is. No, because the next one will be the last one. No, it's thing. not. No, no that'll dude. be the first. No, dude. <laughs> next season is the first season of or first episode of season three. Yep. As we're wrapping 100%. it up, I think this is a great time to just give Ben a big shout out for all the work that he does. Oh, he no. is our creative wow. director. Oh, thanks, we, Ben. We put we put all of our stock in, in hey, ben, him and, and you should have like, wrapped it up. Blessed. No, I'm not going to wrap it up because what I want to say is that <laughs> Hashtag he, like he sends things out from his house. He has sent uh, Morgan tell tell our listeners what he has sent uh-huh. you Everything. personally. Mm. Um, oh, I was going to say, that, ask him what he's asked you to send yeah. people because that's like what I do. I was like, <laughs> hey, Morgan, you can send you. stuff, and you're like, <laughs> got it. And it's like, cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a, I got a, I got. The first thing I got was a Commander Riker Star Trek The Next Generation like action figure with a yeah. giant paper cock tape to it. Okay. <laughs> and then the I second balls. one I got was a Chief Chief O'Brien from Deep Space Nine uh, Star Trek uh, action figure with a giant cock tape to it. <laughs> so and, yeah. Okay. And so and so my and I, do I have more? I asked. <laughs> Well, the reason why yeah. I asked you, to, I, I wanted you to name those things because I must believe that you, like the Hunt family, uh-huh. uh, will will bless those those givings in the same way that they do the 2008 MLS Cup <laughs> oh, championship. No, in Before real life, I do. There's a there's, right. there's an Aces Radio uh, corner in our office that has like yeah. shelving with like yeah. these stupid trophies that I gave myself like 10 years ago. And now like the, the Star Trek figurines with the cocks are up there too. So. Exactly. And, and that is exactly. Did the cocks like, like yeah. dribble down to the next shelf? Are yeah. they that? And there's an okay. 90 club uh, coaster up there too. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, okay. I've got one here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. I must imagine that, uh, that, wow. the, that the same could be said for the Hunt family. <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, go Kansas City, question mark. That's right. uh, Maybe I should send Browns. one to the Hunt family and see how yeah. they react. <laughs> or the Haslam's, or both. Yeah. Just yeah. accidentally Just misspell that. it. Just, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yes. you know, Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like, uh, I think... I think we've yet. we've reached the logical conclusion it's to fun. this uh, episode and season. Put the silent scene. Um, a good good game. Is that what you say? No, we say uh, go crew. You go. go. Thanks everyone for joining the club. We hope you'll listen next week and every week, even in the off season, to celebrate or commiserate. We'll save you a seat. If you like this podcast, please give us five stars and subscribe. You can email us at upper90clubpod at gmail.com. That's upper90clubpod at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at upper90clubpod. Go crew! Ben's sneaking in drugs through a fake cock, and I get kicked out of the celebration for booing Mike DeWine. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct. yeah. Oh, Meanwhile, right. I've got a bunch of mushrooms yeah. stuffed up my ass.